Well, didn't have a good start to this day, the junkyard. Spent 45 minutes getting two rotors off of the first Suburban that we saw. I got my ratchet jammed between the bolt and the suspension. And I mangled my beautiful half inch ratchet. It's repairable, but I mangled it. Then we walked over to a couple rows over and there's a Suburban with the two rotors just hanging right off of it in better shape than the ones I took off. Whoops! Gasoline, E85 sensor. Little mangle. No one needs them around here because they don't have any yearly safety or emissions inspection. Trans sold. There are so many mangled vehicles in this junkyard. Mangled, 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 mangled. People not paying attention, texting it. Whoa! Another one here. We'll have the market cornered on E85 sensors. This one has a biohazard sticker on it. Biohazard? That would suggest blood is inside. Yeah. We saw one that would have had lots of blood and the body still stuck inside. Oh, there's the steering. Tie rods. Kind of looks like rack and pinion, but it's not. I don't know why they don't put a bigger joint there. That's one it always wears. Put that down so I can forget it. Yep, always worn. In that way on GMs for 30, 40 years. Battery hold down. Had to shim the battery on the Roadmaster, the Junk Master, Mold Master. No E85 sensor there. Nope. Things got quiet in the junk here. Nice billet grill. Zing! Yellow. Right hand AC Delco. Yellow. Wow, a Kia Nissel. Look at that. Already here. Plastic. Yep, yeah, plastic rad support. Yep. Yeah. Bold tire. Jeez, these taillights are huge. Wow, yeah, they're beautiful too. Funny that people unbolt stuff. Kia No Soul. Five speed. Whoop. 45 minutes wasted getting off those rotors, then we find them two doors down. Perfect shape. Just sitting there. Unbolted, ready to be carted away. Rotors do you need? I'm not going to take extras. Good for a lifetime. Even had a new emergency brake shoe, which I don't need because I just put new ones on. All right, let's pack up the sheet. Take our E85 sensor. Get the flock out of here. E85. Who the heck is going to repair all these fancy vehicles? Oh, it's missing the surround. It's missing the metal that goes around the connector. Yeah. Doesn't matter. That's just on eBay they go. I'll test them all and send them out way on eBay. I like that good prop rod. It's so under the rank. Okay, let's go check out that Lincoln. Lincoln, Lincoln. Here we go. Oh, do not touch, please. Turbo Trans Am 1979, I think. Turbo. 80 Pontiac Firebird. From Savannah, Georgia. Not rusty. Not rusted. Roll down windows, tilt steering, air conditioning, 111,000 miles. Quartz clock. T tops. Good hood. No more turbo. Oh well. Grab our tools and head for the hills. Even though there are no hills in Georgia. We'll head for them anyway. Row upon row. GM automobile. Junk. Junk, junk, junk. Junk. Aluminum subframe. Beautifully welded up. up. Lots of goodies here. Lots of good use. Wheelbarrow. Buick. Trucks, vans, SUVs. What did it cost to get in here? Two dollars? Two dollars. Two dollars. Cadillacs, Buicks, Pontiacs, Sabres. 
$199.99 for the motor, $99.99 for the transmission. This one's on display. Mm -hmm. 3.1 aluminum heads? Is that what that is? No idea. If we go to the third section. Here we go. Get rid of have a Buick and some ruffles. Mercedes Benz. Why don't you buy me a Mercedes Benz, Mazdas, Hondas, Ford Focuses, Lincoln Continentals. Real wire wheels are these baskets. Baskets. Press the buttons. Enter. Enter. Leather. Just a little. Ah, oh, just working a little bit of leather soap. You'd be good to go. Look at these cushions. Somebody sewed that up by hand. Meep, meep. Open sesame. Let me in, let me out. Please, please, please. Pull it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yahoo. In. Speakers are gone. Oh Lord, won't you buy me JBL? Can you get them? Hang on a second. There we go. Want a shop back? You can clean the glass up. Wait, the headlamp. Make them all in China. JBL speakers. Oh, this is screwed in. That's why. Need a bigger pry bar or a BFH? I may be different than that. Oh look! A K car! A Reliant. An unreliable. Small drums on the back of this. What's it got? A 302? Yeah. Open sesame! Yeah. How do you get the speaker up? It requires a screwdriver without using a screwdriver. Just pull the seat off! No problem! Yeah. <laughs> You've been doing this a long time, huh? <laughs> you learn. You don't do things the hard way. <laughs> Unbolt stuff. Watch it. We're gonna pull the trash out of here. Ding. Ding. Oh. Yahoo! Now. Watch that glass. Yeah, watch out. Mm -hmm. Not worth my time. Those are pioneers. Junk. Alright, I got my toolbox, my E85 sensor, and my knee pad. Here we go, we're back in business. I missed a bit of the previous video, but we gotta move. Ms. Hip Chick is waiting in the office, and she'll be one barking junkyard dog if we don't get out of here. Look at this old Mercury Grand Marquis 78. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't have Corinthian leather. Power six way seat. Looks like a General Motors power six way seat to me. 60,000, 51,000 grandpa miles. Even has a grandpa hang down sun visor. <laughs> oh, my. oh, it has an AM FM deluxe radio. A deluxe AM FM radio. No rust in the bottom of the doors. Miss Hip Chick and I went to look at a used car lot and we saw some rusty cars. It was a three quarter ton 2002 pickup truck from Ohio or Chicago. The rockers were rotted just like back home. Motorcraft forge it with the tag untouched. A little bit of mouse poop. Wow, uh, when's the last time you saw one of these party barges wallowing down the road? And they had next to it, they had a an Escalade overhead cam. What size is this motor? Don't know what Ford's at all. Five, three, four, seven. Had an Escalade, the bottom of the doors was rusty. What size is this motor? 4.6. Is there a 4.7? Oh, never had one. Oh, 4.6, 5.3. Okay. 4.6, 5. Oh. Little problem with that front tire. That'll pop out. Another one with that. Is it 5.4.6? That's what they all had. Yep. What's this? HID headlights? <coughs> and this? Electronic control gear. <laughs> details, details. HID. Junk. Some nest in here. Original radiator. Dang. Hmm. Oh, it's got timing chains that go across to the cams. Oh, look mm. at that. 
Never seen one opened up. Even comes with some oak leaves. No charge. Yeah. Easy to change the alternator. Overhead cam. Lovely. Here we get another one with a double row chain. Duratec. Yeah, water can't be too good for things. Looks like I do the fuel injector rail. Yeah. All the beautiful parts. Who needs them? Junk. Oh, Camaro got it. Is this a Camaro? What is this? Mustang. Mustang. That's what happens when you hit a tree pretty much dead center. Oh, is this a six or an eight? This is a six. Yeah, a six. This is the Explorer motor. Runch four liter. What does that mean, the Shaker 500? Woof, woof. Probably gone now. Yeah, I think that's probably on. Yeah. This thing got whoops, sorry. This thing got crunched in the back too. That took a hell of a hit. Yeah. Poof. Junk. Side swiped. Almost hit dead center. Crunch. 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 Hey, you got, you got, want a beer? Here's a beer for you. Oh, here's a beer. Yeah. Hey, you know what I do with these beers? I just bust the top off and then. Just Yahoo! Impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody else here on a Sunday afternoon. It is Valentine's Day. This is what you do. You bring your honey to a junkyard on Valentine's Day and leave her in the office so she can bark at the employees that are just hanging around waiting for people to try to throw parts over the fence. Great. Split sure. port injunction. 2000. Junk. What else we got in this junkyard? We're all the way at the end in the back and we got a 72 grand Torino. First year for the full frame Torino, last year for no five mile hour bumpers. And over here, James, your old limousine awaits. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh huh. 1990 town car and off it goes to the junkyard. Dual alternators and everything. I bet you never seen that before unless you watch YouTube videos and you see the guy that put 12 alternators on a Suburban. This thing looks like it had a fire. Things are a bit melted around the neighborhood. Yep, too much juice. Brand new belt. Look at that. Brand spanking new. Needed more than an alternator belt. Needed a trip to the junkyard. Runs, drives, good engine and trans. And off it goes. Alright, I'm going to find my toolbox now. Yeah, it's right here somewhere. I think it's in the next Ford aisle. This is the Chrysler convertible aisle. One, two, three, four, five. Jeez. Mm -hmm. Yep, stuff gets mangled here. People beat on stuff. The forklift hits things. Smash. There it is. Found my toolbox. Mustang. Convertible. Junk. Junk, 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 it's all junk.